All right, welcome back. Uh, wanted to do a quick video on these. Okay, it's so hard for me to say. Actuonic, actuonics, linear actuators or micro uh, linear actuators. So the first one I, I was going to show you guys is the the PQ12s. Come in these nice little plastic uh, hard cases. Uh, has the servo and the actuator and its little hardware. So. Um, Neat little items, uh, tons of applications. You can use them for um, gear doors, canopy, speed brakes, bomb drops, um, just about anything you can think of. You know, speed brakes. Uh, my F14 has them on the on the wing sweep mechanisms, and they come in various gear ratios and lengths. Uh, generally, the more torque you're going to get, the slower they'll be. Uh, all the RC uh, actuators that uh, I, I will be uh, carrying are all six volts, but you can get them higher if you need it. And and these are plug and play for your receiver stuff, uh, so they're perfect for the RC thing. Um, run off uh, six to seven point four volts. Uh, they're safe for that. Uh, wouldn't go much higher, you know. So you're your life packs or your lithium ions or your lipos, you know, you should be good there. Or NICADs. Uh, but, uh, so we'll get to it. I'll show you some of the ways you can set up your radio. I, I wasn't sure about a couple things until I got some in. Uh, but I tested and I'll show you kind of got, show you kind of what I was looking at to help the RC guys. Uh, so let me do this. Bear with me. All right. So, where's my remote? Found my remote. Alright, so this is what you get. A little uh, plastic container for this size, for the PQ12 anyways. So you get a little accessory pack. A uh, bunch of screws and lock nuts with uh, two mounts and an oops, sorry. And uh, two mounts, a bunch of screws with lock nuts and then an adapter which I don't really think you're going to need for your like RC type uh, applications but it's there um, let's see get one of these little guys and they're, they're, they're really small really lightweight typical uh, servo uh, wire with your top well this is actually just a plane so this would be more like your your JR type plug generic it's got a little piece coming out of the actual linear actuator and then basically your solder point so what I would say would just be careful through here uh, you know I mean they're not too brittle but you never know and then uh, this is what you get uh, like I said these are 22 millimeter stroke is what these little ones come in but they have different four different uh, gear ratios uh, ranging from four pounds to eleven pounds I went with the mid-range oh, well, this is a 36 so this is four pounds but I have the 63 to 1 uh, which is um, a uh, 10 pound, 10 inch pound, I believe. I think it, I mean, I, I wouldn't say it's foot pound, but inch pounds. So, 10 pounds of force is what you're getting. So, that's more than enough for your, um, for your, you know, little applications that this would be for. So, I uh, just wanted to show you some weights here. Get this here. Just to kind of give you an idea. And, in my opinion, because most of your 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 warbirds or your jets that have uh, gear retracts and stuff usually have like your typical air setup. Some people have went to electric, which is nice because I hate air. You always have to worry about leaks and the valves, you know, sticking or you know, they have mechanical and then they have the you know the new electrical valves. So, but just to kind of give you an idea, so these the. The actual, uh, act, God, I can't even say it. <laughs> actual, actual or act, actuonics, actronics, uh, actuators. Uh, with the serve, with the little actuator plus your mounts and all the screws, you'd only use probably two or three of those. Is 29 uh, grams. They advertise 25 because that's, you know, you know, you may not even use the the mounting stuff. Uh, without the mounts, it's 23 grams, 22 grams. So, and that's all you really need to hook up to whatever you know linkage 
that you're running. So switch over to your air, typical air setup. So I'm going to use the Jetronics because they're usually the light, lightest uh, in weight. So 32 grams just for the actuator. Usually you have a fill port and an air gauge, a couple T-fittings, and let's see if I got any air. Uh, yeah, here we go. So you throw in, you know, an air cylinder. There's 51 grams, and then throw, you know, however many grams for for airline, and then maybe an air tank. So you're easily up to 100 grams or more just just for your air setup. So it saves you quite a bit, and then there again, there's the chance of air leaks, things like that, that you won't have to worry about. And the cost, uh, depending on what you use, servo or these fancy um, uh, electronic air valves, I mean these things run up to like 130 bucks just for the air valves. You know, another 20, 30 bucks for the fill port, another 20 bucks or so for that, and then whatever, you know, your air cylinder and fitting. So you can, you know, you're looking at a, what, 150, you know, or more versus, you know, like 72 bucks plus shipping. So just something to think about. Um, now, that being said, if you had something like, they had like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you know, gear doors, and it, it probably wouldn't be as cost effective to do that many. But, you know, that's up to you. But, I mean, if you have your typical gear door set up, you could easily uh, still save money uh, and weight, which is a good thing. You always want to save weight. Everything flies better when it, the lighter it is, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. So, anyway, so there's that. Um, get this out of the way. Turn this off. Try to keep this kind of slow or short. So, I got a receiver. You can kind of see how small these things are. Yeah, it's comparable to this little, you know, uh, Fataba receiver. So let me plug this in. Typical white, black, and uh, red, like a servo lead. I'm going to turn my radio on here. I'm just using a 6 volt, uh, not even 6 volt. I think this is 4.8 volt actually. That's, but it, it, it's fine. So. All right, so there you go. So, and I put this on a slider. What I wasn't too sure about prior to, to check, you know, getting some of these and checking them out was if it was just an open, closed kind of thing. Um, but it's not. It's actually a proportional. So, you know, like I put it on a slider, slider switch here. So, if you want to make it kind of like a brake or a servo, you can do that. See what I mean? And this is really slow because of the voltage and uh, it's a higher gear ratio. But you can adjust endpoints in the radio, just like a servo. You can do sub trim, so mid range. You can have it on a three position switch if you want. You can have it on a two position switch. So that's really nice because even, like, say, you're using it for a canopy lock to actuate, you know, like the typical hook, hook style lock. And you only need 15 millimeters of, of throw, then you just cut down the endpoints on this thing, so you don't end up having to, you know, go to the full stop or you know make it run until it amps out. Because these do have a built-in um, safety feature, like if they get jammed or or bind or whatnot, uh, they will just shut down without burning anything up, and they won't go uh, further in that direction. But you can still switch, uh, hit, hit the switch and go make it go the other direction. And then it'll go back that direction until it either hits the stop or the jam point again. Or amps out. So that's kind of a nice, uh, nice feature. So this is full in. Or fully closed, I would say. And then so, I'm going to move it up. There's the mid midpoint. And then there's fully extended. So, and you can kind of see I'm just moving the... the the slider back and forth so definitely nice feature to kind of give you some flexibility with the install because you know how it is everything seems to be just a little bit too short or just a little bit too long so there you go that's the PQ12s like I said they come in a 30 to 1 63 and I completely forget the, the third 
uh, varying from four pounds to eleven on your on your force, which is more than enough, I would think, for your application. So there you go. These little things are neat. Um, yeah. So that's about it. I'll uh, I'm gonna do a switch over and do a quick video for these the L12s uh, real quick and just kind of show you those. But uh, if you have any questions, just ask. Uh, send me an email. Post on the the video uh, comment box. And you can go to if you want to see all the very you know the various combinations. You can go to uh, the www.braincubelights.com site. It's on there under uh, Actronics Linear Actuators. So I have all of them on there, so you can kind of see what you, and mess around with it. But you guys take it easy. I'll get back to you here shortly with the L12s later.